In another video, we mentioned that to manage a project, we need to do two major sections or two major action in the platform. The first action is to set up a project, and that includes the step you see on the screen, and the other action is a PLC management. We will talk about set up the project in this video. So let's say we want to add a project. Remember, we can add it from the home screen as well, right? Now, what you see here is choose from draft. This is in case you have been, you know, maybe you've been working and adding multiple projects on the platform and just saving them, but never submitting them. So they are still draft mode. You will be able to select. If I click in here, obviously there is nothing because we have not saved any project. Now the project number is automated. So this is because as a new user, a new workspace. So obviously this is project number one. Uh, and whatever you see in asterisks, that should be obvious. It is a mandatory field. So you can add the project title. So let's say we're going to call this test 01 project. Um, and then who is the idea owner? Let's say it's Munir. Uh, or the gen and then who is requesting the setup? Let's say it is Munir as well. Right? Now here you have two more fields that are target completion date. And you say, well, we want to finish this project on July 30th. And target start date is going to be, if I put the second here, which is today, it actually accepted it. So it, it might sometimes depend on the time zone. It might say, well, you need to feature date. So let's say we want to start this project today and it's going to be finished on 30th. This is tar these are target. These are not the plan yet. In the future, when we are managing the project, we can do cost and schedule uh, estimates and other things. Now here you have the option of, is the project part of a program? If you're not sure, you leave it like this. If no, uh, you will notice that basically um, that there is nothing here. If you say yes, it will open another field for you to describe um, uh, what program, if the program is already in the system. If it's not in the system, you can say this and you will be able to enter manually. Uh, and then, uh, uh, basically, uh, but again, if we say no, they disappear. Is this project generated from strategic plan? Not sure, yes or no. If no, it will tell you why it doesn't align and uh, why should we consider it, right? This is part of governance. And if it is yes, uh, how does it align? So we don't want just yes, we want an explanation, right? And of course, if it is not sure, it doesn't give you anything. And it's part of a program. Now, as a program, it will ask you if it is part of strategic plan, right? So, so let's say now for now it's not part of a program. Here you have to add an organization unit. Now it's empty because we have not set up any organization unit on this account. That basically what this is, it allow you, uh, allow your client admin, not you as a user, the client admin. So if you are the client admin, you will be able to go and add the organization unit. Let's say if you work in a bigger organization and you want to divide the work into different organization and you want to see uh, what, how every organization is doing, you will be able uh, to add an organization unit and you can add more and more. Basically what that means, you can add, you don't do it here, you do it in the client admin, which would be another video. However, uh, basically uh, if that is set up, there will be there could be up to three levels of organization. So even in large organization that might want to divide the project into division, department, and maybe a small unit, uh, you, you can you can organize it any, any way you want to. Now, why is this important? This is important when we do performance. Who is authorized to see these things? And the performance executive dashboard as well. Who will be able to authorize to see? And maybe even sorting. If I want to see. An executive dashboard. I want to see how one organization unit is doing. Is doing. I can access that information. Now here, notice the project manager is not required, uh, but the sponsor is required field. So in this case, uh, we have from the drop down, we have like you know, uh, for these testing uh, videos, we we are basically instead of project manager here on top, you will see your name but I'm using project manager to indicate uh, obviously to the role to make it easy to view. And then we have a person called, let's call that person project sponsor. And uh, again, we can define the organization unit these people belong to. And I can save as a draft, right? And maybe go uh, and come back later and think about it and say, I'm happy, I will submit it. Ah, now notice it didn't give me a 
a pop-up says success. It basically is telling us that I need to choose a date future because uh, of the timing, time zone. I think uh, this is something maybe we need to fix, but so we can choose the three. Save and submit. And notice it gave us now success and took us to the project list. So now we see a project. We have the project name. It's a future project, right? It's not active yet. So it is future. So the statuses will be future, active, completed, closed, and on hold. So if you have a long list of projects in your organization, you could see all five of them. And the reason it is future because it's not activated yet and it's created today. And notice activation date is still empty. I will stop this video now and we'll talk about the sponsor next.